there is the man to whom all good wishes go this afternoon. Good wishes of football fans everywhere. John Huey of Charlton Athletic, a Scottish international, a man who has now played in nine positions for the club and has to turn out for the first time in his career in goal because Willie Duff, the regular Charlton goalkeeper, is injured and Charlton have no experienced reserve goalkeeper. Well, Huey has performed magnificently in eight positions and no doubt he'll give of his very best in this his ninth position for Charlton Athletic and this very important match second division match being started by Charlton Athletic rather difficult to distinguish between the two colors but it's Charlton defending the goal to our right because Charlton Athletic still not safe from relegation Plymouth fighting for promotion Throw to Plymouth. Being taken by the right half, Williams. Wing half was valued at £25,000. Back to Robertson. And into this very fine Charlton centre half and a throw to Plymouth. Plymouth who brought with them quite an army of supporters. A lot of them, of course, in naval uniform. Uh, Williams with the throw. Williams getting it back, and it looks as if Huey might be in action for the first time. No, it's Sewell who gets it clear. Up now to Laurie and Charlton beginning to relieve the, the pressure. They're playing against the wind. Now uh, Leary trying to get it through to Kinsey. And out it comes to Corbett, and over the line for a throw to Charlton. Kinsey with the throw to Bailey, back again to number 11, Kinsey, and this is the first Charlton attack and the Plymouth defence. Looking quite cool, quite strong. Robertson with the throw for Plymouth. The first time either goalkeeper has been in action, the game went on two minutes, and Hinton misjudging that one rather badly. And a great cheer for John Huey as he touches the ball for the first time in the match. Now it's Captain Newman trying to find Anderson and finding it, but Charlton standing very firm, coming back again, and it's a lovely one to Leary, who's onside. This could well be goal number one, and it is. put Charlton in the lead after 16 minutes play. Charlton Athletic 1, Plymouth Argyle 0. And a smartly taken goal it was too. Ah, here come Plymouth hitting back and it's a free kick for them. Williams to take the free kick for Plymouth. Oh, and the child and defenders see them all running up to play the offside game. And up comes Fincham. And well wide. Goal kick to Charlton. But rather slow to move into that one, so it's Edwards now up to Kinsey. Kinsey forward to Leary. Rain still trying to come down as McLaren can kick the ball almost the length of the field with the wind behind him. Corbett with the throw for Plymouth. And lovely move by Kirby. And this surely must be a goal, yes, by the Side right Carter. And hit the green and black flags of the Royal Navy, the Plymouth supporters, and one goal each, the wind just as strong as it was in the first half, and it's Plymouth Argyle to kick off and to defend the goal to our right. 
And in this half, Plymouth will be facing the wind. Both teams played extremely well in the first half. And kickoff delayed. Laurie a little too anxious to get into action. Must be outside the circle. All right, so the game restarts. And out. Laurie right into action and making a present of it too. One of the Plymouth players. Certainly not the most ideal conditions for good football, but both teams have tried to play good football. With near misses at both ends. Of course, there have been some mistakes, but nevertheless, the overall picture has been a good one. Very entertaining football indeed. Now it's Kirby beaten by Hinton, and Hinton, beautiful pass out to Laurie. Now decided to dispense with shin guards. It's up to Leary. Most intelligent footballer Leary now to Laurie. Into Matthews. And it's now they left half back Bailey. And Plymouth packing the goal extremely well. Oh, here comes Corbett, the outside right, finding McEnany. And nobody there to take that ball. So lots of time now for Charlton to engineer an attack. Certainly didn't make the full use of all that time and ruin they had. Williams is strong, right halfback of Plymouth, up to McEnany. McEnany to Kirby, back again to McEnany. Well, Williams seemed rather asleep that time, but now it's Newman. Newman to Anderson. Newman once again, former Leicester City and Birmingham player. Throw to Charlton. Here comes. Laurie, number seven. Away goes Leary. Very fine move indeed, and is he scored yet? <laughs> Two minutes of the second half gone, and the quickest bit of thinking we've seen in the game by Leary and Laurie, and Leary now has made it 2-1 for Charlton. Plymouth desperate for points. They're one point behind Lake Orient in this promotion struggle. And certainly they're getting no help from Charlton Athletic in this match. Charlton's two goals, both scored by centre forward Leary. Here he's in, in action now. And both have gone in off the post. And now's the chance for Kinsey into Edward. Well, certainly no in off the post about that one. Three goals to one for Charlton Athletic. And up comes Sewell now then. He can really join in the attack. And he's reaching down the right wing for that pass from Leary. And every one of Leary's passes finds its target. Well, a promising move breaking down there. So Fincham now for Plymouth, finding his outside right, but it's Hinton who comes across to break that attack up. Newman with a throw to Corbett for Plymouth. And it's Kirby. Kirby now the centre forward. Can this Plymouth forward like to hold the ball a little too long? Corbett to Carter and look at those defenders and who put it over the top. and Edwards has moved to the left wing. He seems to have some trouble with his head. He's been holding some cotton wool to his head as if he might have cut it slightly. So he seems full of energy. And, oh, Fulton in trouble. Oh. And a corner. And 
unless the referee has given the free kick. Now he's given the corner. So in the last minute, it's a corner to Charlton, who are 3-1 in the lead. Glory to Leary. Oh, we're having a strange manoeuvre again. This time, Charlton have won the throw-in. Oh, and Kirby back there in defence, and rather a bit of trouble there. Aye, 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 aye. Oh! Robertson and Laurie, Robertson and Laurie having a real set to. Now that what happens? And Leary being spoken to. Well, I would say Leary was the, the peacemaker there, not the... <laughs> Not one of the main actors. Well, that was a bit of excitement right in the last minute. The whistle has gone and Charlton have won three goals to one. A very fine, a very well-deserved victory. And Huey is being mobbed by the youngsters at the other end.